Hi, I'm Victor Alpha 5, Mike Uniform Delta, and welcome to my channel. And today, I am going to be sharing with something I've been working on for the last couple months, and it is going to be awesome. I tell you, no one's doing this that I could find, and it's going to be a game changer on the whole way we think of uh, our battery charging and go, go boxes and solar generators and all that kind of stuff. This is a bit different, but completely... It's going to blow you out of the water, so stay tuned, watch this. I'm going to do a very brief go over on what I've been doing. I'm going to be making a lot more videos on the stuff, a little more detailed on how I built it, and some of the more uh, details on, on different different stages on what I'm doing. But I want to share with you right now, I want to get this video out here, so you guys could see just what is going on. And you're probably wondering, what am I talking about? So well, I'm talking about um, a solar controller that's going to be used not just for solar. That's right. You know, we, we got solar panels. They go into the into the controller. And, you know, let's see here. We've got one right here. This is something that I have. I've uh, I bought this uh, last year. And it is, it, it's probably one of the better ones. Now, I haven't got this one for free or anything. I bought it with my very own money, my savings. And it is basically works probably the best out of all of them so it's a victron 48 volt 20 amps um you could uh you could put in about 100 volts into it and it's gonna be the number one thing in my in all my videos and all my research this is what i used now uh quick sad story uh i did blow up my power mini 2 it is toast. Uh, it just didn't like what I was doing to it. So you'll see on the board that I used to have a spot for it and now it is gone. So here's my setup. You see up in the corner here, I got my controller. Right here is where the Power Mini 2 used to be. Yeah, she's gone. That's another video. I, I, I fried it. it. I let out the smoke. So this is my setup. And this is something I've been doing testing on. Uh, a lot of you guys, uh, people build go boxes, battery boxes, and they put it all into a nice container. And then, you know, you want to change something, something, then what? I throw everything on a piece of plywood. I could drill holes. Something breaks, I want to change it around. We could drill and do all that kind of stuff. So right here is the basic layout of what I got. Now, it's a buck converter into a buck converter, basically. You're not... Um, I'm not, I'm not, no smoke and mirrors or anything like that. Well, there's smoke involved if you do it wrong. And I uh, trust me, I blew a lot of fuses doing this. So you guys, I'm going to take the guesswork on, on anyone's builds. I am doing the destruction and the testing on it. And I'm going to give you something, some good links on what to use and what not to use and, and not what to do, right? So what we got here is we got our power coming in. And I'm going to go on that right away on what we're going to use for power. We got our buck converter. And we're going to be putting this one up to um, 48 volts to 52 volts coming in. And then we're going into our solar controller. Now, instead of getting solar signal coming in or power, we're going to be taking power from the buck converter. Now, you may ask me why, why, why don't we just eliminate one of these? Now, it gets kind of complicated and there's a lot of analogies to use why we would want to not use just... A controller why well, use two of them right so let's go with an analogy and i'm not going to try boring you i want to i want to make this set we're all just at a nice level nothing too technical uh you know just try not to talk about ohm's law and all these physics and stuff let's just do bread and butter how we're going to push the energy through okay so let's go back to the to the camera there and let's do our thing all right so starting at the beginning here we're going to use, uh, for this uh, this uh, scenario, we're going to be, we got a power supply over there. We're going to be pushing in, into this buck converter, uh, around 12.5 volts. Then, coming out of the buck converter, we're going to be pushing this out at 50. 50 volts into the solar controller. The solar controller is going to be, it's hooked up to a couple batteries here. Let's get it turned over right there. We've got a couple of my Dakota batteries. So we're going to be pushing it into that at a controlled charge rate. Now, this is where the whole secret comes in. You cannot make this solar controller work without a good 
incoming power. So if I hooked up my battery or charger right to this, if I wasn't pushing anything over 20 some volts, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna charge the battery. So it's simple as that. So we're up, up converting the voltage and we're gonna push it into there. Now let's go back to the analogy. This buck converter is gonna be up converting the pressure. Pressure will define as volts. So voltage is gonna go up from the 13, 12, 13 to 58. So we're gonna be saying PSI, we're going from 15 PSI to 50 PSI. So now we're in PSI, let's say. We're not gonna build it to put in uh, a small amount of voltage efficiently or even possible to put into a battery that's sitting at 12 volts if we're putting in 13.5 or 12 if they're matched we're not pushing anything so we need some sort of way of pushing it that's the whole idea of this buck converter is we're going to start pushing it we're going to we're going to say our voltage is like water pressure we're pushing it in now the pressure if we just put it in there and just let her buck like a buck converter we got a chance that we're going to be running too much voltage into this into these batteries and what these batteries have is a BMS battery monitoring system you don't want to bounce off the BMS off these batteries they're not really designed for that now some chargers you buy and these guys are guilty for selling a charger that will push in and just rely on the BMS to control the charge that's not the proper way so we're gonna use a solar controller to efficiently charge and move the voltage into the battery. It's kind of like, let's go back to the plumbing aspect, pressure. This solar controller is going to be like uh, the control valve on your shower, adjusting how much pressure you have around your garden hose. You don't want to be knocking off everything in your shower, right? You know what I mean talking about? You don't want to be knocking them off. So if you have kind of one of those days where you don't need all that pressure on you, on your titties, this is a way to kind of control it. So anyway, this is a live shot of the solar controller. And if you can see on the screen there, we have zero voltage coming in. Our battery voltage is actually flat. I, I purposely ran the batteries down 10.5 volts. And this is uh, basically charge controller sitting there idle, nothing's happening. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn on, I already got power in there. I'm going to turn on this switch here. I'm going to turn on this, the controller. It's going to allow power to go through. And then the power is going to start coming in from the solar controller. So we just make sure we have all everything in line here. We got our battery coming in. And make sure we have our controller plugged in. There we go. All right, let's go. All right, you guys can see now that we do have battery battery voltage from the chargers coming in. We got 53 volts. Uh, we're drawing between the charger and the or the solar controller and the buck converter. We're drawing 1.3 amps at 53 volts. Our battery's charging now, and. The whole secret again, guys, I'm always saying the secret. It's not a secret now. This solar controller is something that you need because we want to control our amperage going into the battery and also what the buck, buck converter is doing. If you draw too much, your current's going to go too high and whatever you're sucking the power out of is going to cause possibly burn up. You're, you're not going to get electrocuted possibly. I mean, maybe you could. I'm going to put a disclaimer. Yeah, maybe you'll, you're sitting in the tub. You get electrocuted. This is DC voltage. The danger is you're going to start melting components and then you're going to burn something up and wreck something or wreck a solar controller like I already did. So we're charging up this battery nicely. Six amps. Um, you can't see it, but on my... Uh, on my battery charger, I am drawing about seven amps, seven amps of power running off of this. And that's what we want to do. Now I want to, I want to kind of do a little, not off subject, but I'm going to show you, we're going to do, like I said, I'm not going to get too complicated in electronics, but we're going to do a very quick Ohm's law for you. And it's, this is kind of, this is very interesting you guys. So check this out. So I have two controllers here cause I'm testing everything, right? Let's start using this controller right over here. And I want to see 
what we are going to be doing at a different voltage. So let's get this thing turned off. We're going to do a switch over. That, that, and that. Okay, so I'm using the other controller now. And I have it set for an output of 13 volts. Now, can you see that on the screen? Having it sitting at 13 volts is not giving me any charge. The solar controller is saying, nope, there's no sun out there. It's still thinking it's a solar panel, right? It's not efficient to charge this battery, so I'm going to shut off. So what do we do about this? This is like, uh, let's say we hooked up a power without a buck converter. We hooked it up to a solar controller. It's not going to work. We need this buck converter, and we need it to buck. We need it to put the voltage up whatever we're using so on this right here on this controller there's a little little dial that we can adjust the voltage output on this one both of them have it and I'm gonna go back to the other camera here and we're gonna watch the input voltage go up now this is where I wrecked my other solar controller because I gave her a little too much juice and she she basically fried right in front of me Okay, I'm slowly turning up the power. Now we're now it's kicking in. Do you see that the wattage is going on? We're sitting at 20 volts. And this is where, as I promised and didn't promise you with Ohm's Law, basically our current and vol voltage is linear to each other. So the more voltage affects the current. So higher voltage, less current. So higher voltage is a good thing. And we're not going to get into that right now. It's about wire sizes, efficiency, and all that. If I put this up to a nice little sweet spot here, we're running at 25 volts almost. I'm just, that's very sensitive here. We're running 3.1 amps at 25 volts. And now if you remember on the other one, when we were at over 50, it was half the amperage, 1.5. So let this buck converter buck and turn that voltage up, boys and girls. It's just let her go, and your current's going to go right down. Um, get your current down, and you'll see it doesn't affect your output to your battery charging. We're consistently running 6 amps still. So our voltage is varying. It doesn't matter. So we're going to be basically giving this a very, very level playing ground. We're going to, you know, we want the solar controller to push out to the batteries the proper voltage and current and be consistent. That's the solar controller's job. And it's very smart at it. So let's let it do its job. Let's feed the, the solar controller a nice amount of power. Let's not let it be all over the place. Let's do a consistent current. Let's put her at 50 volts or wherever you want to run at. Let's keep the solar controller happy. And I, I've done a lot of research on the solar controller. It's happy at a higher voltage. Uh, learning that by solar uh, panels, running in parallel and series upping my voltage made this controller a lot more efficient so hey that's that's a little trick for you and you probably anyone who's doing solar knows that so a lot of you who are watching have solar systems uh, panels on your house or in your rigs or your pota or whatever you already this kind of old news the whole idea of what i'm doing is not using solar panels and using something else now we're going to end this right away and i'm going to be putting out a lot more videos on stuff and I've done some pretty crazy things with this thing. Um, we're going to go back to the camera here and I'm going to show you some stuff here. So I've used a number of different sources to charge my house batteries, I'll call them. I've used a Milwaukee 18 uh, volt lithium battery to charge it. It worked great. Um, believe it or not, I'm going to be doing a video on it. I was able to charge my big battery using this little HT battery I got off one of my China radios. I got the alligator clips on the contact pads right there, and I put a cigarette lighter outlet on it to connect it to the system. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how this sucker works, and I'm going to let the, let the cat out of the bag. It works. And... Another thing you used, if anyone knows what this is, this is a dissected battery out of a, what is it? A Dyson vacuum. I stole it from my wife and took it apart. Actually, no, it's her warranty battery. 
you could take your battery out of out of your vacuum and believe it or not in an emergency you could charge your battery like for your for your radio now who would want to hook this up to their battery just like this do you trust it what is the voltage coming out of here what is the current how much are you taking off of this are you going to burn up one of these these little cells how do you connect them right i'm going to show you guys all that and how to do it safely that's the whole thing I already burnt up a few things. I already popped a whole pile of fuses. I burnt up some switches. I burnt up a controller. You know, a lot went into this project to figure out what's going to work. And a lot of this works. And this system will work for you. It's going to be a re not a replacement, but I tell you guys, you make one of these boxes. Driving down the road, you're going to plug into your outlet in your vehicle. And you're going to be able to charge your battery while you're going to a pole to park safely without burning up the cigarette lighter because it draws a lot of current. But we're not going to draw a lot of current because I want to show you how we could control that. Now we're not going to take uh, over overpower that outlet. You're going to be able to charge your battery while you're driving and ham radio related, which converter is going to be RF friendly. That's another topic too. We're going to make them RF friendly and... I'm also going to show you in a video, why don't we do the other way around? You're out in the in the park or somewhere and your car battery's dead, not starting. Would you feel safe boosting your car with one of your real expensive lithium batteries with some old jumper cables? Or would you want to know a way to properly transfer that battery from what you really were going to charge and in reverse put it into your lead acid battery? That is possible with this system. You guys, sky's the limit with this. There's so much stuff. There's so much work I've done on this. It's so amazing. Um, I got links in the bottom for some of the stuff that we're going to be doing. And uh, let me show you a couple of them here. We got, uh, well, I'm not going to show you because I'm not going to know how to work that. I'm going to get it all messed up. The links will be at the bottom for the controllers that are on that board. Um, please leave a message at the bottom. If you have any concerns or, you know, you're a sad ham, I want to hear it. If you guys have something I'm missing, I'm going to cover them in future videos. Leave a comment below. Like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. And we're going to see you hams on the band. 73s, y'all. Have a great night.